Arthur! Arthur! Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's your boy Malik from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to create disc or DVD authoring in Pinnacle Studio 18 Ultimate. Let's get into it. All right, peeps, let's go ahead, hook up with a disc menu and then author a disc. As you can see, I got my timeline all set up and ready to go. I've edited everything, I'm good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on the author tab. It's gonna ask me if I wanna create a disc project for my open movie and the answer to that of course is C or yes or we or whatever language you speak. So now that we're in the author tab, it does a few things. It opens up a menu list. This menu list is where we're gonna drop our menu and sub menus that we're gonna use in our movie. Then we also have a few extra buttons like a button name, chapter button, some linking buttons, things like that. And then we have a whole bunch of menus and sub menus. So for each menu, there is a sub menu that uh, corresponds to it to the right of the menu. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag a menu down into the menu list. So I'm going to left click on the blank menu, hold down my mouse, and drop it down into the menu list. And what it does automatically is it adds a intro and chapters to your video. The intro is basically just a short clip that plays before the menu pops up. So for some reason it made the intro real long. I'm just going to drag this chapter over. And I'm going to drag it to a place where I want the intro to stop. Now these chapters do uh, have magnetic locking, so they'll lock in wherever you have a split in the timeline. So now I got my intro. I got my chapter one where it will go to to play the main menu. And at the end, it automatically adds a return button. So this is like at the end of the disc, it'll return it back to the main menu. Now, if I click on the main menu, you get a preview of it here with the text and everything that's gonna play. Your buttons, all of that good stuff. Now, if I click on this simulator button, it's going to play so to the put disc. A branding logo, what watermark it would be so on your videos, like this. I was playing the intro, so that people. And if I hit take menu, notice of who this is what would show up after the intro plays. Now there is no scene selection button shown here because I don't have any scenes. I have no chapters. We got to fix that, right? Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to close this out, and now I'm going to select a sub menu. I'm going to select the one that matches it, left click, hold down my mouse, and drag it down into the menu list. Now I went ahead and set up the sub menu. And you can see I have my different sub menus, thumbnails, but still there's nothing in here yet. Well, I have to connect the clips to the sub menu. So there's a button here called Chapter Wizard. We're going to click on the chapter wizard and it's going to create chapters for us. Now, it's going to ask us how we want to create them. We want to have 20 seconds between each chapter, apply it to the whole movie, and we want to link the chapters to the menu buttons. Yes, we do want to do all of that. So I'm going to click OK. So it's working now and you see there's chapter buttons that already added themselves to the timeline. And now what's happening is each sub menu is putting in the thumbnails that correlate to where those 
chapter markers are. And that was done. So if I scroll over here, you see I have a chapter every 20 seconds. But I don't want a chapter every 20 seconds. I changed my mind. I want to create chapters every time there's a split. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the end. And the reason why I'm doing this is because when I choose a chapter, I want to take it off of the end of the video. If I take off ones in the middle, it'll leave spaces in some of these submenus. So I'm going to click on this chapter and then I'm going to click on remove chapter. Go to the next one. I'm going to do the same thing. I think I'll do it for like three of them right now to see how that works. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag these chapter markers to each one of these splits that I have. So I have one extra chapter here. So I'm going to click on that one and I'm going to remove it. And now you can see here that there's actually a chapter with nothing in it. It's not a good thing. So I'm going to click on sort. And now it fixed that corrected the missing chapter that I had and now I just have a menu with just two in it at the end. This one I don't need anymore because it has nothing selected so I'm going to right click on it and do delete selected menu pages. Now even though this one has nothing selected to it, it's still showing up. If I were to click on the disk simulator You see that there's nothing there. So you're good to go. So let's close this out. Now the next thing is, I'm still not really done. It has here a little thing that says, this menu is not reachable because there are no links to this menu. And they all have that on it. So it's like, okay, so I need to fix that. So I'm gonna click on the main menu and where it has scene selection, I'm going to left click, hold that down, and I'm going to drag it over to the first sub menu and let it go. Now that little red thing is gone, they're all linked up. We're good to go. Now let's go into the main menu and talk about how to hook this up. So if we left click on it or double click it and then hit the edit button, So now we have our text editor open and we can click on any one of the layers here to activate it, type it, whatever text we want, whatever we want it to say. It's pretty simple. You know how to use the text editor, you can edit all of this. This tells you this one is not a button. If I were to click on play movie, it's a normal button. I can change it to a different type of button if I want to. Uh, when it's Select it, and you can click on it. It's available to be clicked on. It'll be yellow. Once you click on it, it'll turn green. You can change those colors if you want. You can set it as a still thumbnail, or you can have it as a movie. If you like drag in a uh, video clip or something like that, let's say I just drag this on here. I can make this a button if I want to. Right, so now it could be activated as a button. If I want to add a background, I can just go here to the available tabs or I can add a new tab. Can click on it, left click, drag it into the background. Now I have a background. If I want to add audio, and click on that, go to an audio tab, uh, drag in some audio. So that audio will play now. You can go ahead and choose a fade for the audio if you want to. 
so it'll play while the menu is playing all right so I'm gonna click on OK and you can do the same thing with the sub menus double click one of them or click it and choose edit sub menus will come up you can change the name of the chapters if you want to just call them something instead of having chapter numbers you can call it birthday party or whatever you want to call it uh, these are thumbnails that are buttons right now so if somebody clicks on it it'll play that uh, you can have previous next and back to the main menu once again you can add a background you can add audio you can do all the same things to this one I'm gonna click on OK and now I'm basically done with my lovely little menu so now I can go ahead and export it so I'm gonna click on export and it automatically goes to disk and I can choose the type of disk that I want to burn I'm gonna leave it on blu-ray disk can choose a preset whether I want best quality custom or fit to disk and then you have advanced settings here where you can change the encoding you can change the bit rate can change the uh, format of the image write speed all of that good stuff so then at this point you want to choose where you want the destination of the image to go to so you can create a location you can save it to a location it's up to you where you want the image to go to and then you get to choose the device that you want to burn to so if you have multiple optical drives you can choose the one that you want to burn to and then you can either create the image or just straight up burn the disk or just burn the image then once you have everything set up just click on burn disk and you're good to go DVD menu on your disk for your viewing pleasure thanks for watching we'll see you again soon